We also have another individual that contacted us, Matt, who said that he was uh, sort of a troubleshooter, uh, forgot the exact title that he was working in, in Macy's, and he brought to Macy's the issue of these men's these men going into the women's Probably working in corporate security or yeah, or, uh, he was doing loss something prevention. loss yeah. prevention, mm -hmm. something yeah. of that nature, and he he brought to their attention articles from around the country where people had gone into Macy's and a couple of other stores, but also specifically Macy's, uh, women had gone in and they had been sexually assaulted in these fitting rooms by men that were coming into those fitting rooms and even rapes. And he brought this to the attention of Macy's to address this policy, and he said rather than addressing it, he was terminated. Yeah, not surprising when you look at the, you know, they're, they're uh, pulling the wool over their own eyes here. And, you know, that's uh, a hallmark of the uh, homosexual activist lobby and people who are trapped in uh, the homosexual lifestyle. They're in constant rebellion with uh, order, with their natural order, with natural law. Uh, with, with biology, obviously, a man can't be a woman, a woman can't be a man. Um, and, and, and so, you know, groups like the Human Rights Campaign are constantly raising the bar, moving the goalposts, if you will. They have their corporate equality index, and they use that uh, in order to strong arm companies into signing off on every single one of their demands.